This video is showing how to use an action to launch a flow. And we're going to be updating priority, the field priority, to, uh, to high. Uh, but we could update a whole series of fields, create related records, do whatever we needed to for this contact uh, for the flow. So uh, in a past video, we talked about how to use a display flow to make changes. Uh, this is showing how to use actions. So what we're going to do is go out to flow, and so we're going to do setup, and we're going to then look at flow, and flow, and then be able to look specifically at this flow, which is currently marked active, so we can open it. And what we get is this flow, and uh, the important ones, we've got two fields that we've built. One is just a, a, a a constant that's high, which is the value high, and then also a, uh, a record list here, a record ID. And if you look at this, it's a lowercase record, capital I, lowercase d, and it's marked available for input. And then what we're able to do is, this is a, a standard element, uh, which is just an, an updater record uh, using values from the flow. And so we, by opening this, uh, we've got a name. We're using conditions as opposed to a, a collection variable, a record variable. And we're uh, updating contact when the conditions are met. And the condition is that ID, uh, and this is contact record ID, is equal to uh, the record ID. So this is the current record. Uh, that we're looking at this launching this this flow this action and what we want to then do is to set a kind of value so we're going to set um, the priority a, a custom field called priority to to a, a, a constant and then just in order to to, to make sure that this uh, this update occurs we've got a success screen and the success screen is just uh, that it was successful and that we used, uh, you know, the constant high. So we could do anything else we cared to with that uh, and then cancel it. And then we could have additional all kinds of looping and decisions and everything else we need to based on this. Uh, but this is just want to show you how to make it make it run simply. Uh, so once we've built the flow and it's active, what we then have to do is to go out and make some changes to the... Uh, the contact object and so we're going to go out and edit the object and we're going to go to uh, buttons links actions and what we want to do is to build out a new action and uh, rather than the action type which defaults to create a record we're going to go to flow and what we're then going to do is to say do we want to do display we actually want to launch an action that was the other flow and then uh, here, what we want to do is just to be able to say high priority as a label uh, and accept an API, and then we can create a description. Uh, and clicking save, and if we go back in and look what that's going to look like, uh, review it, we're going to see here that we actually have a flow, uh, the high priority, we can have a description, uh, and it's all set. So then we need to go as to look at the page layouts once we've built this action we need to put it in the page layout. So we're going to go here to layouts. We're going to see we have a lot of these layouts. So which one are we using? Best way is to go out to, to page layout assignment uh, for, for a specific profile. Uh, how can you look? So we're a systems administrator. So we're using the Force 501. And so we go here, Force 501 contact layout. We can open that. And then looking at it, uh, we can look at quick actions, but this isn't the quick action. This is actually a mobile and lightning action. And so we're going to enter that space. We're going to see high priority sits right there. So if we draw down, if you see this, uh, uh, this option, this, if you click on this, you'll actually be able to get to this, to these buttons if you don't see the buttons within the, um, the Salesforce mobile. And, and so what we want to do is to take this high priority and we want to drop it in front up here. And so we're going to say, let's stick it up in the front. Uh, we keep trying and see if we can get it to the front, right? Okay, so we're in the front now. Uh, and we can now click Save. 
and that saves the layout. Uh, and then at that point, we're able to go out and take a quick look at um, at this. We're seeing our contact record. We're actually seeing a button. We're looking here and seeing uh, uh, the priority field is blank. Uh, clicking high priority, we're able to get a success and say finish. And then what you'll see is it'll actually pop in as high. So that's how to do uh, a, an action. Um, hope that works and good luck with your flows.